The Detroit Auto Show is just around the corner, and like always, there are a bunch of new car debuts expected to go down. If you're anything like us, you're dying to know what the auto industry has in store for its first show of 2018, so let's go over what to expect in the Motor City this month. We've organized this list alphabetically, so the first brand that we'll address is Acura. Honda's premium brand will bring the 2019 RDX prototype to Detroit, which previews the production version of the future crossover. It also may usher in a new design language for Acura, so if you're a Honda or Acura fan, you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for this one. Next up is Audi, which will bring the all-new A7 Sportback to Detroit. The automaker first showed off its new A7 last year, but Detroit will be its first true public appearance. It should also be displayed alongside the new A8, which we saw in Los Angeles last year. Over at BMW's booth will be the new X2 crossover along with the updated i8 Coupe. The i8 Coupe will receive updates first seen on the i8 Roadster, such as new headlights and different wheel options. The i8 Roadster should also be present, fresh off its debut in Los Angeles in November. Over at Chevy's booth will be the new Silverado, which we first saw at the Texas State Fair last year. There's still lots to learn about that new pickup though, like how its updated cabin will look for example. We've also only seen the rugged Z71 version, so it will be nice to maybe see some different trim levels in Detroit. We're not expecting to see the C8 mid-engine Corvette though, but maybe Chevy will surprise us. Ford typically goes all out at Detroit, and this year should be no different. We're expecting to see the Ranger pickup rear its head in the Motor City, though we doubt the anticipated Raptor version will be shown there. We may also see the new Shelby GT500 and Mustang Bullet, but we're not too confident about that. Honda will have the new Civic-based Insight on hand in Detroit. We've already seen photos of the hybrid four-door, but we don't know much info about it. What we can say is that it will feature Honda's two-motor hybrid system and will be positioned above the Civic in the automaker's lineup. The new Hyundai Veloster is set to debut this month, and even though we've seen numerous photos and videos of the asymmetrical hatch, we haven't seen the interior and we don't know what engines it will have. Maybe we'll even see the high-performance N version in Detroit, a product we're actually very excited to see this year. Infinity has already showed us what it's bringing to Detroit, the Q Inspiration concept. This big four-door is meant to introduce a new styling language for the Japanese brand and may also signal its future electric or plug-in vehicle plans. If you're curious what an Infinity of the future will look like, look no further than the Q Inspiration. Jeep will have its updated Cherokee on hand in Detroit, which will feature more efficient powertrain options and a revised exterior. But we're still expecting all eyes to be on the Wrangler JL though. We're not 100% sure that Lamborghini will bring the Urus along to Detroit, but it sure would be nice to see the 650 horsepower SUV in person following its debut in Italy in December. We'd also like to see it in colors other than yellow or black. We'll have our fingers crossed. Lexus is showing a new crossover called the LF1 Limitless concept. We don't know much about it, but based off the teasers, it seems to be yet another wildly styled Lexus. Mercedes-Benz Detroit debut is no secret. It's bringing the 2019 G-Class. The SUV has retained its boxy shape, as shown in leaked images, but will get a decidedly more modern cabin. You can expect updated powertrain options for the new G as well. Just like Chevy, Ram is bringing a new version of its pickup to Detroit. Spy photos have revealed major portions of its exterior and interior styling, but we don't know much about the powertrain yet. This Ram will also wave goodbye to the brand's crosshair grille for good. Toyota is showing off its new Avalon, which appeared rather sporty in the single teaser image the automaker released last year. A car will ride on a stretch version of the automaker's global architecture, but that's just about all we know for now. Rounding out our Detroit 2018 list is Volkswagen, which is bringing along the new Jetta. We've already driven a prototype version of the compact sedan and found it to be a good improvement over the existing car. Expect a 150 horsepower 1.4 liter turbocharged engine and an 8 speed automatic transmission from launch. Thanks for watching, guys. Autoguide.com will be on site at Detroit, bringing you a ton of on site coverage, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.